The strange and sad ending of Rosalind Russell. Sadly, she was only 69. Rosalind Russell was a tall, stylish beauty with expressive eyes, best known for her versatility in witty and sophisticated roles such as the fast-talking newspaper reporter in the screwball comedy His Girl Friday in 1940. She is also fondly remembered for her portrayal of Mame Dennis in the film Auntie Mame in 1958. She won five Golden Globes, a record at the time, and in 1953 won a Tony Award for her portrayal of Ruth in the show Wonderful Town on Broadway. She was also nominated four times for the Academy Best Actress Award and in 1972 she received a special Academy Award, the Jean Hersholt Humanitarian Award. She was born on June 4, 1907, the one of seven children, in Waterbury, Connecticut. She was named after the SS Rosalind, on which her parents had voyaged. Her father, a lawyer, was from an Irish Catholic family and Rosalind went to the Catholic Marymount College in New York, before going on to train at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York City. After doing work as a fashion model she started her stage career in her early 20s, against the wishes of her parents who originally thought she had been training to become a teacher. She appeared in stock company productions at Saranac Lake, New York and Hartford, Connecticut before moving to Boston where she worked for a year in a theater group run by actor and director Edward E. Clive. She made her Broadway debut in Garrick Gaieties which ran for about two weeks in October 1930 and played some other minor roles in Broadway plays before she was offered a movie contract with Universal Studios. At the time Universal was regarded as a second-rate studio and Rosalind was unhappy during her time there. When she received a better offer from the preeminent studio, MGM, she left Universal and signed with the bigger studio. It was a good move for her. She made her screen debut with a small but important role as part of the love triangle in Evelyn Prentice in 1934, co-starring William Powell and Myrna Loy. For the rest of the decade she worked hard, appearing in numerous movies including many comedies, such as Forsaking All Others in 1934 and Four's A Crowd in 1938 and, although fine in serious drama, she was clearly built for comedy, with her wide, expressive eyes and constantly mobile body, her performances frequently threatening to go over the top but skillfully reined in at the last moment. She appeared in dramas also, including Craig's Wife in 1936 and The Citadel in 1938 but she was rarely the first choice for anything, and was used by Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer as a first reserve in case Myrna Loy's salary demands got out of hand. In 1939 came one of her most celebrated roles when she was cast as the caddy Sylvia Fowler, the bitchiest of the women, directed by George Cukor, an all-female comedy in which she manages to steal scenes from such illustrious names as Norma Shearer, Joan Crawford, and Paulette Goddard, sometimes simultaneously. The movie was a major critical and box office success which considerably boosted her career and further established her reputation as a fine comic actress. In 1940 came another celebrated comic role, that of Hilde Johnson in Howard Hawks' classic screwball comedy, His Girl Friday. Although many other Hollywood actresses were offered the part before Rosalind, it is hard to imagine another actress attempting the character with such authority and abandon. She gives one of her finest performances as the ace reporter who is at her happiest trading wisecracks with the boys in the press room. The 1940s was a prolific decade for Rosalind as she continued to appear in successful comedy movies such as The Feminine Touch in 1941, Take a Letter Darling in 1942 and Tell It to the Judge in 1949, and she received three of her four Academy Award for Best Actress nominations during this period. The first was for My Sister Eileen in 1942, an offbeat comedy featuring her as the older, plainer sister of perky blonde, Janet Blair. Then in 1946 for Sister Kenny as an Australian nurse and another ambitious and successful dramatic role in 1947 for Morning Becomes Electra. In the 1950s Rosalind returned to the Broadway stage and found success in an unexpected new genre, the musical comedy 
when she reprised her earlier movie role from My Sister Eileen in the renamed Wonderful Town in 1953, for which she received a Tony Award. The theater continued to be the mainstay of her career at this time with occasional TV appearances and movies, notably her portrayal of a teacher in Picnic in 1955. Rosalind's most famous role of all, in both theater and movies, came in the title role of the long-running stage hit Auntie Mame and the subsequent 1958 movie version, in which she played an unconventional aunt whose orphan nephew comes to stay. The movie earned her a Golden Globe Award and her fourth Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. Rosalind continued to make movies during the 1960s, giving notable performances in a majority of one in 1961, Five Finger Exercise in 1962, Gypsy in 1962, and The Trouble with Angels in 1966. In her personal life, Rosalind married once, in October, 1941, to Danish-American producer Frederick Brisson. Russell suffered from rheumatoid arthritis and she devoted her last years to campaigning for arthritis research. In 1972 the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences awarded her the Jean Herschelt Humanitarian Award for her charity work. Rosalind died in 1976 from breast cancer. She was 69. She is buried at Holy Cross Cemetery, Culver City, California. Goodbye legendary actress, Rosalind Russell.